Maniratnam's Nayagan, which, uh, you know, uh, created this visual imagery in my head. I already started printing posters saying uh, Academy Award winner A.R. Rahman. It's still playing and uh, I get calls for tickets sometimes. We want tickets for VTV. I said, don't be silly. This information, very, very few people know. So I'm wondering where you pull this out of. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends, how about finding a top take? A wow factor in this episode. Do watch it till the end to grab this harmonic moment of the day. Gautam Vasudev Menon, engineer by education and filmmaker by passion. He entered the world of cinema as an assistant director to Rajiv Menon in Minsara Kanava, also made in Hindi as Sapne. Chandare, chandare, kabhi to sami Gautam's first film as a director, Minale in Tamil, became a super hit. Its Hindi version, Rehna Hai Tere Dil Mein, is widely acclaimed as a cult classic. Right from his first film, Gautam wanted Rahman as composer. Finally, his wish came true in his eighth film, Vinay Tandi Varuvaya, also known as VTV. Released in 2010, it's called Dilwale Dhulaniya Le Jayenge or DDLJ of the South. More than a decade later, VTV is still running in theatres. Yeah, it is still playing the theatres as we speak. It's still playing and uh, I get calls for tickets sometimes and I think it's for maybe some film that I've acted in that people are asking for tickets and when I call them, they say, no, no, we want tickets for VTV. I said, don't be silly. I'm sure. He said, no, the, the shows are full. So if you can just get us, we want to go today. You know, I'm going with my girlfriend. Uh, you know, so it's a, it's a film that people go with, uh, you know, somebody that they're in love with and they watch the film and, and, and all that. But for me, it was a, it was a tremendous experience. If you ask me honestly, from across all the films that I've done, uh, which film would stand out in, uh, in just the way we made it, the collaboration and the process was, was Vinitandi Varuvaya for sure because I completely loved it from the word go till we released the film in the theatres. There was one, one constant positive energy you know, that was there on sets and with the music sessions with Rahman. Uh, so, um, it was also, uh, when we announced the film, it was, we'd met him and he'd confirmed the project and uh, it was a day before uh, the Oscars, um, uh, you know, and uh, we'd, I already started printing posters saying uh, Academy Award winner A.R. Rahman, uh, right? And uh, we put the word out also to, into a studio that tomorrow we're going to release these posters. They said, hey, dude, just hang on, you know, we, only, we don't even know whether it's going to happen. But somewhere, you know, there was this very positive uh, energy and feel about it. So when we announced the film, it was the day after the Oscar award. And we announced saying Vinay Tandi Varuvaya, A.R. Rahman, Academy Award winner, and then all the other names on the, uh, on the posters. <laughs> Tremendous experience, learning, humbling, and a very spiritual sort of a eight to ten months with uh, A.R.E. Many things that he would say, um, uh, you know. Um, I remember the first song that we composed was uh, Hosanna. And uh, we, of course, uh, narrated the story idea to him and then the script discussion happened. And he, he, he smiled, he gave us a few suggestions and all that. And then he said, we'll use that Christian element. This girl is Christian, so let's bring in a few... Uh, you know, and I was very surprised the next day when he actually had Blase in the studio and we 
and he gave me that uh, uh, andha neram andhi neram kan paathu kandalagi pona neram edo aache andha neram andhi neram kan paathu kandalagi pona neram edo aache that that bit he had composed hosana en vasal taandi ponale hosana that bit he had composed and the word hosana he had used so i was a bit taken aback because i wasn't sure if it's correct to use that term uh you know uh, and then we checked uh, you know my wife is christian and we called a few people and all that and rahman sir was like we're not saying anything bad you right so let's use it in a good way only and all that and then this song unfolded and, and again after so many years of listening to rahman sir's music i still felt it was a new sound you know it was a it was a new composition hosana en vasal taandi ponale hosana vero there was like a a blend of a, a vijay prakash and the blase um you know and uh, there was a steam of hosana that would ring right through the song it was it was it was our song at the same time it was international there was so much uh, you know that was happening in that one song and i was blown away by the fact that even after so many years i could be grabbed by a new sound you know that was happening and then there was just no looking back i used to look forward to those composing sessions i still have the original tracks of rahman sir's voice humming those tunes uh, you know and i keep telling him that we should release it and he keeps saying no 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 these are all done very rough and sketchy gautam never put it out and all that stuff in a good way only i'm saying so uh, uh, you know every every song has a composing tune you know in rahman sir's voice which i've kept you know for posterity and i'm sure it will be there for, like i'm saying forever <laughs> and with every song rahman brought this malayali kerala connect because the girl is from there in the film and in omra penne i remember he said we'll use this uh, kalani menan ma'am's track uh, you know where she sings uh, a sort of a portion uh, interlude in the middle of the song and then manipaya was a surprise to me because uh, apart from all the other songs that i had he i i, I knew i wanted a song but he kept saying no no i will tell you if we are ready to do a song or not and he called tamare without telling me and said let's keep this as a surprise and in 3 days time i was called to the studio and i was wondering i'm running out of time and i need to sit with him on this particular song and i need to shoot the song and all that manipaya 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 i didn't know but he had already sat in the composing with tamare recorded the song and i was called in for just to listen to the song in chinmayee's voice and uh, you know i i just loved it manipaya unfolded because of that and then shreya's um, uh, you know uh, in shreya's voice the final song came out and all that every song was created with so much love so much of discussion so much of honesty you know it was not just a uh, sir i just want two love songs here and move out you know he would make me sit down ask me to talk about the moments talk about the songs and that's how each and every song sort of unfolded I remember this Oone Uire song a whole bunch of singers were there you know like uh, the who's who of uh, who sang with Rahman uh, Karthik Srini and a lot of others Naresh a lot of people were brought in and asked to put the song together like he gave them a sort of an idea and said this is what I want and for about 2 days all of us sat and put that song together not an easy song to crack at all with sir coming in now and then and telling us no no make, keep it like this you know can we tweak this here and all that so so you also realize that you know how work unfolds how a song unfolds you know how a song is made there's so much of thought that goes in uh, right so it was a tremendous experience for me with the vinay tandi varuvaya vinay tandi varuvaya after that for every film i've gone to him and only if he's busy and only if i know it's going to take some time i've gone back to you know working with whoever did the music for me and that music also had uh, did come out really well but like you said to answer your question very honestly since then every film has been rahman sir this is the idea can we do this he says gautam it will take 6 months to 8 months or yes we'll start that's how it's been mr medan while the song hosanna was still under production it got leaked did it impact the song or the film in any manner well the impact was good only there's never been a Uh, other than the audio label cribbing about it i think um, the impact has always been uh, you know sometimes we ourselves think whether we should leak a song out just for uh, you know i'm just joking 
but we never do that because we are ethical about these things. But somewhere it impacts us only positively. It's only the buzz that gets created a lot more and, you know, people are eager to listen to, you know, whatever is coming out from the studio there. And uh, it's only, yeah. So there was, I think, a bit of something that leaked from the studio at that point. Uh, what was recorded in the studio, just a snatch of it was, I think, uh, uh, put out and then we managed to pull it out immediately and all that stuff, yeah. WeTV, a musical romantic drama, features Simbu and Trisha as leads. The film explores the complicated relationship between a Hindu Tamil boy and a Malayali Christian girl. At the box office, the film was a blockbuster. Its music is considered timeless, unconventional, combining global sound and local sensibilities. The central character of this film is a mechanical engineer. Hello. Oh. Hello, Uncle. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. What are you doing? Mechanical engineering. Oh, that's good. Keep it up. Thank See you later. Who wants to be a filmmaker? Somehow I can sense a biographical strand here. Am I right? I want to become a filmmaker, Pa. Huh? How do you know? Pa, you know cinema, Pa? I think in all my films, uh, you know, somewhere I draw a lot from um, uh, me and what's happened around my, uh, around me and people around me, my dad, mom, people at home, uh, my sister is a huge inspiration. In some way or the other, the things that they say, the clothes they wear and what's happened in their lives, uh, you know, somewhere I suddenly managed to incorporate into every screenplay of mine. So here was a story of a, a boy who was a film, who was wanting to be a filmmaker and he falls in love and somewhere when you know, what he learns with the relationship and as the relationship sort of, you know, progresses and unfolds, he uses that to make his film also, which is the basic idea, right? There was no need to look beyond what was happening around me itself. Um, so use moments like that, the, there are moments in that film between this character that BTV Ganesh, this actor plays and Simbo. Uh, you know, he's a cameraman, they bond, there's a lot of discussion between them about film. You are a cameraman. First at once, you can get it. 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 And then here and there, there is an ad there's a piece of advice also. They go looking for the girl together. And he's like a mentor, kind of a slightly older guy who's with him. So that was my association with Raj Shekhar, the cameraman who, who worked with me with Rajiv sir's uh, team. And he also shot Minale and Kaka Kaka for me. <laughs> So I, I used to see him like that, you know, there was, I used to be in his place all the time. So there was a lot of all that that I drew and I, I used that to write the screenplay. Uh, so yeah, it, it's me and this girl upstairs, you know, in the story was, was also something that happened in my life. So I drew from that and uh, made the story. You might think so it's very easy to pull out stories and write, but it's not easy. You still have to, you know, get a working screenplay going. So. That brings me to my next question. You did mechanical engineering but became a filmmaker. I'm just very curious to know that why do so many engineers become filmmakers and musicians? There are so many of them that I wonder that mechanical engineering colleges should start teaching filmmaking now. I think it's a really good thing though that we have uh, uh, you know, professionals and a lot of educated people uh, you know, uh, being directors and filmmakers and producers and actors. I think. Um, uh, there's a whole class that comes into, uh, you know, the way the films are made and what kind of films are also being made. But uh, to answer your question honestly, I wanted to be a filmmaker and then got to study mechanical engineering because that was what, uh, you know, my mother wanted me to do. That, that's what was, that was a discussion at home. And I think at 16, 17, I wasn't sure of, or maybe I wasn't really uh, uh, sure of the film institutes and how to go about it and stuff. Maybe, you know, this is in uh, 1990. So I uh, picked what everybody at home was talking about, engineering. Uh, but two years before I joined uh, engineering, I saw a film that completely, uh, you know, changed the way I started thinking and um, uh, about what I wanted to be, uh, right? I wanted to be a filmmaker. The minute I saw the film and I went back to seeing the film many more times, I started studying the film and then because of that film, I started watching a whole lot of other films and started talking to my dad and mom about films. We were not, we were not from a film family as such, but everybody at home are film buffs 
and uh, uh, you know there, there would always be some film or the other playing f across. Uh, we'd go to the theaters to watch films, and there'd be films playing on Doordarshan on TV. Uh, you know, at that time, and there was a lot of discussion about these old classics. Whenever it would come up, mum would say something about this particular film. Dad would say something about an English film that he saw, and then we'd pick up films over the weekend on VHS to watch it at home. It was like a routine. Like we'd hire a VCR. Uh, you know, that was what people used to do a lot. Those days, we'd hire a VCR. We'd hire a couple of tapes, and then we'd watch some special films. And dad would talk about films like. Uh, you know, Dr. Zhivago. Lord, this is an awful time to be alive. No, no. What are we going to do? I don't know. Dead Poet Society. He was the inspiration that made their lives extraordinary. Dead Poet Society. The Godfather. I never wanted this for you. I worked my whole life. I don't apologize to take care of my family, and I refuse to be a fool. The film that I saw was, of course, Nayagan, Mani Ratnam's Nayagan, which, uh, you know, uh, created this visual imagery in my head. I started writing and these images, uh, you know, would, would fall in my head, and then I was so keen to become a filmmaker, but I didn't know how to go about it. I ended up studying engineering, but even in the college uh, down south with a lot of boys from across Tamil Nadu, be, there'd be a lot of talk on film, so there was almost like a film appreciation club there. You know, the, the, the urge only became much more. And then when I finished engineering, I got an opportunity to work with Rajiv Menon and uh, I worked on this film called Minsara Kanabo and I, there's been no looking back since then. You were an assistant director on Minsara Kanavu. Vinay Dandi Varuvaya, title of the film, is the second line of the song Vendilave Vendilave. But I think when you were working on the script, you had titled it as Vendilave Vendilave. Am I right? Vendilave Vendilave Vinay Dandi Varuvaya. Yeah, I think it was all that. And this information, very, very few people know. So I'm wondering where you pulled this out of. Uh, but my writing um, uh, draft, uh, the working title was Vanilla Way, Vanilla Way. Uh, very surely it was that. And then uh, it was Manoj and me, you know, Manoj was the cinematographer of the film. And while we were almost set to start production, uh, he said, the next line is even more beautiful, sir, actually, for the script, he said. And then I realized, yeah, I mean, it was always staring at my face, but somehow I was so inspired by Vanilla Way, Vanilla Way because of the way we got the song from Rahman sir while working on Minsara Kanava and the whole shooting process of that song with Rajiv sir in, in full elements, you know, like completely directing that song. I, I know Prabhudeva was there and Kajol was there and it was dancing and, you know, it was a very, um, an evening in Paris, uh, an American in Paris kind of a mood and the flyover and, you know, the bridge and all that stuff I'm saying uh, with two people, you know, dancing around, um, you know, but it was completely Rajiv sir. <laughs> The way he envisioned that in the room that we were all sitting in for months together and then finally at shoot, the way he was in control of, you know, both the actors and the, uh, the lighting and everything, you know, uh, it was, uh, I was completely inspired by the way that song was made. And we were there throughout, you know, as assistants, anyway, you're there, but even wholeheartedly, you know, being in the process of putting that song together as a production, you know, uh, we were so involved with the making of that song that somewhere, and the song itself was such a beautiful song. Um, uh, in Hariharan's voice, the song itself was such a beautiful song that uh, it stayed in me and it's still in me forever, right? So when I wrote the film, I started writing without an idea of the story. My, my title was Vendilave Vendilave. The story unfolded, I wrote it. And then it was Manoj who suggested that the next line is even more beautiful and it works really for the script. And then immediately we registered the title and that's how that, uh, you know, uh, it Vinita Divarvaya happened. Vinay Tandi Varuvaya, the first Tamil film to have its music album released at BAFTA in London. A decade later, during COVID lockdown, Gautam Menon decided to make its sequel. A short film done by five people, Rahman's music proved to be an icing on the cake. With 
many untold stories. Gotham Menon will be back in our next episode. Stay with us. Hello. The who's who of uh, who's sung with Rahman, uh, Karthik, Srini, and a lot of others. Nareesh. A lot of people were. brought in and asked to put the song together not an easy song to crack at all with sir coming in now and then and telling us no no make, keep it like this you know can we tweak this here and all that so you also realized that you know how work unfolds how a song unfolds you know how a song is made there's so much of thought that goes in do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day is your choice different whatever your mind says write it in the comment section below we will be waiting Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon, and stay entertained.